Hi guys, uh, good afternoon everyone. Welcome to our channel Selenium Tech Automation. Okay, so I took a little gap from last one week okay, to upload videos from our channel. So I hope you people are following our videos on um, regularly. Okay, so please interact with me guys. How are you and uh, how is your festival? Okay, please let me know from the live chat if you have any queries to be discussed so that uh, we can uh, discuss on today's session the concept called uh, how to automate keyboard and mouse operations in Selenium as well as we will see some basic Excel read and write operations with the help of Apache point. Okay, please let me know. Okay, please interact with me if anyone is there in the live chat. Okay. Come on, guys. Come on. If anyone is there, please do let me know from the live chat so that uh, we can uh, start our session today. So that is about automating keyboard and mouse operations in selenium as well as we will discuss about how we can uh, perform some basic read and write operations on excel documents with the help of apache pi okay so please uh, let me know from the live chat so once if enough people get joined we will uh, start our live session for today okay the screen you are uh, watching is that is about cucumber framework so where i have uploaded one video on last uh, sunday i mean this week sunday i have already uploaded three videos from cucumber point of view okay please let me know from the live chat guys if you are there Okay, I am going to start our session now. Okay, not an issue, we can start straight away. Okay, let me uh, go to our any one of the framework what we have scripted so far. Okay, here we have this one and uh, palm.xml also we have. Okay, so here we have already added our testng dependency as well as our selenium dependency file as well inside our pom.xml file okay so now i am going to show you how we can uh, yeah how we can create okay how we can uh, perform automating keyboard and mouse operations using selenium okay if you are new to our channel please support our videos and also please uh, go through all the videos once again i am requesting you all Okay, let me delete this one then we can start our keyboard and mouse operations for today okay let me check uh, it is there okay and uh, let me go to our main folder and here pages inside these pages we have one generics class okay this is about open source demo site okay so now i am going to show you how to automate keyboard and mouse operations using selenium okay so now let me take our earlier project so where i have defined our rnhrm url right mm -hmm. okay selenium tutorials where exactly it went <laughs> e drive inside e drive i have a folder okay let me switch my workspace to another workspace if 
file switch workspace e drive oh inside tutorials we have right okay okay not an issue One second, guys, it's starting again. Okay, here we don't have any project, so let me switch back to our tutorials workspace. Okay, one second guys, uh, I am opening my Eclipse now, so that's the reason why you are getting blank screen, okay. Think it's open now, okay. Yeah, now it is visible, not an issue. Let me close this cucumber xml file as well. Okay, please interact with me guys so that we can discuss more in this particular live session. So if you have any doubts as well, you can ask it from the live chat. Okay, please mention from the live chat. We will discuss each other. Let me go to Selenium Tutorials uh, where I have already discussed about this concept. Okay. So I think Actions class is not here. And yeah, first we will discuss about Excel document read and write operations. Okay. Later we will discuss about. Okay. Later we will discuss about automating keyboard and mouse operations in Selenium. Okay. So now automate tables, array list concept, capture links, comparing contents, existing scripts, find element. Okay, I think it is not here. And if I go to Java examples, SRC, Java tests. Okay, so now I am going to start okay now i am going to start the concept called how to automate excel documents using apache pi okay so for that as it is a maven project first of all our project is maven project here if you are using non maven project you can download that apache pi jar file inside your eclipse okay you can download and you can add into your eclipse tool okay eclipse ide if you are working with maven project you can directly add a dependency tag so how we can download means okay how we can download means just open maven repository okay let me share my screen everything to you okay, let me minimize this one as well okay so here so let me search with maven repository okay so before going to start our actual discussion first i have to i mean i want to explain a bit more about what exactly this apache pi means okay so that we can later we can see the examples of uh, excel documents along with some programming examples as well okay after that we can discuss about automating keyboard and mouse op operations using of selenium right so here what exactly this okay how we can automate this excel operations using apache pi okay hi sweta tg welcome to our channel uh, thank you so much for your support yeah if you have any questions you can feel free to ask me from the live chat uh, sweta tg not an issue okay so now i am going to discuss about the concept that is called as automating microsoft excel operations using of apache pi okay first we will discuss about what exactly the apache pi means hi star satish welcome back to our channel selenium tech automation okay so now in this video i am going to show you 
how to automate microsoft excel operations using of apache pi okay there are some basic operations like how we can perform read operations from the excel document as well as how we can write some text i mean text into our xlsx file as well as how we can count how many number of rows and how many number of columns present inside our excel documents later we can discuss about some uh, sample programs okay so now so first of all what exactly uh, this one like what exactly this apache pi means okay so here apache pi is a open source automation i mean open source application interface okay apache pi is a open source application interface right and also this apache pi is used to automate the microsoft office files such as excel word files and also we can automate some different files as well but majorly we can automate with the help of apache pi in real time means we can automate only xlsx files okay where the projects are storing their test data in the form of excel documents right and also here what exactly the poi stands for if you are attending for any interview as a fresher candidate so you can uh, expect one question from this concept as well okay maybe that interviewer will give you some table so from that table he wants to uh, read the data okay table means it is in the form of excel document only he will write and he will ask you how i can fetch the data from the particular given row or column so we need to write some sample piece of code okay so that we will discuss about uh, what are the code we are going to use it here to read and write operations inside our excel document okay so what exactly this py stands for here so usually we can we are calling it as apache py right so here we have already discussed that apache py is a open source application interface that is an api which is used to automate microsoft office files such as excel for excel word for example and here what exactly py stands for okay here py means poor obfuscation o b f u s c a t i o n obfuscation implementation file system okay py means which one py means py stands for poor obfuscation implementation file system okay so let me uh, hide this one and let me show you this one okay it's fine then so that i can able to read your uh, chart as well from the live chat okay so here py means poor obfuscation implementation file system so why exactly we are using this apache py means so here apache py provided hssf implementation to automate dot xls file okay so let me take one paint application so where i am going to discuss about brief okay i am discussing in a very brief way about apache py concept okay so please guys please support the stream and please listen this concept and also you can practice from your end as well okay so let me open a paint application so that i can show you what exactly this and what are the different interfaces and classes we have when we are working with apache pi concept in real time okay so now for this let me open our paint application okay if you have any queries please feel free to ask me from the live chat guys i can respond okay i can respond in the same live session only not an issue okay so here i have opened my paint application okay yeah i have completed my selenium course i am 2011 passed out present i want to searching jobs this times calls are not getting to me yeah obviously sweta tg the reason behind this is it is almost year ending right okay so that is the reason why you are not getting much calls these days okay so by next year february or march again that calls will get increased day by day so don't worry before that you can uh, try to attend some uh, interviews or mock interviews via online and also you can practice more from your end as well if you start practicing from now when it comes to after three months then you can able to attend for any interview okay and also if someone is scheduling any interview means don't skip those interviews for your practice you can attend whether you are selecting or not selecting that does not matter 
but you have to attempt for that particular interview so that you will get to know what are the different types of questions we can expect in real time interviews okay please try to attend more interviews even if you are not getting more interviews even if you if it is a only single interview also you can try to attend whether it is face to face or telephonic round or voc round not a matter but you can try to attend for that particular interview okay that is one suggestion from my end definitely you will get one good job but you need to mention why the gap in between from 2011 to till now okay so that is where every interviewer and every recruiter will mainly ask you the question what you did in this uh, gap from 2011 to till date okay so we need to explain in a clear way okay so here let me draw one diagram here Okay, as I mentioned here, Apache Pi is a open source application interface and which is used to automate Microsoft Excel files. As well as here, PY means PY stands for Poor Obfuscation Implementation. Okay, so first we will discuss about. So here, Apache Pi, Apache Pi provided HSSF implementation to automate dot .xls file. As well as the same Apache Pi provided xssf implementation to automate dot xlsx files so here hssf means horrible i mean horrible spreadsheet format that is hssf meant for okay and the extension here is dot xls whereas xssf stands for extensible spreadsheet okay okay so now let me write something here Okay, here Apache Pi provider HSSF implementation to automate dot .xls file. Okay, HSSF implementation implementation to automate to automate dot .xls file. Okay, I will tell you what is the difference between this dot .xls and dot .xlsx file. What I am calling here. Okay. So here Apache Pi provided HSSF implementation to automate dot .xls file, right? To automate dot .xls file, Apache Pi provided HSSF implementation. The same time, the same Apache Pi provided, the same Apache Pi provided which one? XSSF. That means extensible spreadsheet format with an extension of dot .xlsx. Okay, with an extension of dot .xlsx. Apache Pi provided. XSSF implementation as well. Okay. XSSF implementation to automate which one? To automate dot xlsx file. Okay. To automate dot xlsx file. Okay. So these two are provided by the Apache Pi. So here what exactly this HSSF stands for? Okay. So here HSF stands for horrible. Okay. Horrible spreadsheet format. Okay. HSF stands for horrible spreadsheet format whereas XSSF stands for extensible okay extensible spreadsheet okay spreadsheet format <coughs> okay you need to know about all these points because it, during your interview you will definitely get one question about the concept of Apache Pi okay that's why I am telling from beginning okay please try to understand the concept okay so just now i have started our session please try to understand and please uh, listen carefully this is very very important uh, topic when you are attending for interviews as an automation test engineer okay so now so uh, this apache pi provided hssf implementation and xssf implementation and hssf means horrible spreadsheet format and xssf means extensible spreadsheet format okay so here what is the extension that hssf extension is dot xls file okay whereas xssf extension is here dot xlsx file okay so here if you are uh, considering like for example if i have one uh, xlsx workbook means so that should we can call it as excel file not no, i mean we need to call it as workbook not a excel file if you are working with apache Pi okay so here apache pi provided some interfaces and classes to automate the microsoft excel formats okay to automate the microsoft excel formats okay apache pi provided interface and class to automate microsoft excel 
formats right so so what exactly the excel document means that is a workbook in real time we need to call it as a workbook not a excel i mean excel document if you are working with apache pi means we need to call it like a workbook okay so i will show you the hierarchy key so how it will looks like in apache pi if you are automating xlsx files okay so the first the first step here is that is interface right that is interface which means workbook is an interface the xlsx file what you are taking that is an interface okay the xlsx workbook where you are storing your excel i mean where you are storing your test data for uh, passing into your application and also where you are validating we are storing into xlsx document right so for that document we are calling it as workbook that is called as an interface okay that is called as an interface the first one here is workbook okay the first the first the first one here is workbook that is interface okay interface this is an interface inside this workbook we are storing all our test data for reading and writing from the xlsx document okay it is our first step here that is workbook it is an interface okay this is our first step that is workbook which is an interface so here inside this workbook as we discussed so far there are two types of implementations provided by apache pi the first type here is hssf that is horrible spreadsheet format and the other format here is xssf that is extensible spreadsheet format right so these two will comes under workbook interface okay these hssf and xssf will comes under workbook okay so it is the base interface here we can call it as a parent node so pro followed by we have two childs here okay so we have two childs here the first child name here is okay okay control z is not working okay it's working okay so the first child here is which one hssf okay and then the next child here is xssf which means hssf is a class okay hssf means it is a class name and xssf means it is a class name as well okay but only the extensions are changing here okay but only the extensions are changing here okay that is hssf is also a class here right hssf is also a class here that is dot xls that is dot xls and it is a class name okay and it is a class name hssf is a class and the name here is hssf and the extension here is dot xls okay and the extension here is dot xls okay and the extension here is dot xls and it is a class right so then in the same way we have one more class that is called as xssf and its extension here is dot xlsx file okay the extension of xssf format is dot xlsx that is xssf the extension here is dot okay dot xlsx and it is also one class right it is also one class here and then okay workbook is a parent and hssf and xssf these are two different Childs for the parent that is called as workbook interface. So inside this, okay, inside this we have one more hierarchy that is called as okay, we have one more hierarchy that is called as sheets. Okay, usually in sheets only we are defining our test data, right? For example, if you opened one workbook that is XLSX document, means inside that document we are having n number of sheets. Okay, that sheet we can call it here as interface okay that sheet we can call it here as interface okay that sheet we can call it here as interface right so inside our sheet only we are defining our test data with the help of rows and columns right so that's why this sheet we can call it as an interface sheet is an interface in apache pi concept okay because you will get interview questions here okay so that's why i am telling repeatedly i am explaining repeatedly the same line okay please remember during your interviews 
interviewer will definitely ask you what is workbook and what is sheet what is row and what is cell okay that's why i am telling these many times workbook is an interface and it is having two classes that is hssf and xssf followed by one interface that is called as sheet where we can see a number of sheets inside our workbook that is called as xlsx document right in the same way what exactly here the sheet means that is called as an interface okay that is called as an interface Okay, that is called as an interface. Okay, so till now any questions, please let me know from the live chat, guys. Or I am too slow, or how it will be, please let me know from the live chat, so that I can improve my way of explanation, so that we can save our time as well before going to the next topic, that is automating keyboard and mouse operations as well. Okay, please let me know from the live chat if you are able to understand the concept or not, please. okay so once sheet is completed inside the sheet okay inside our sheet we can have rows and columns as well right inside our sheet we can have rows and columns as well so now let me open okay let me open my excel workbook as well okay excel workbook as well before that let me minimize my paint screen here so that we can discuss more about xlsx file as well we will see excel right okay give me one second let me open excel file here excel okay this opening okay please let me know from the live chat guys if you have any questions to ask me please uh, feel free to ask me in the live chat okay this is very very important session so where i am telling in terms of interview point of view only okay please try to understand and also i am little slow on explaining the things okay please try to understand why i am taking much time on explaining all this so that you will get good knowledge when you are attending for interviews okay so it got opened now i guess it seems yeah okay not an issue let me open okay okay no problem yeah here you can see so this book one we can call it as a workbook that is called as an interface okay that is called as an interface so if you can see this uh, if you can see this extension okay you can see this extension right here okay if you can see this extension here let me open any one of the folder or drive we will see the extension here you can see here the extension of this particular file is .xlsx okay that is extensible spreadsheet format okay dot xlsx is the extension of excel document that is the latest documents if you are using uh, below 2003 or 2009 versions so during that time you will get an extension that is called as dot xls but in the latest version of xlsx i mean excel application so we can see the extension that is xssf okay that is extensible spreadsheet format and you can consider this as a workbook okay the whole document we can consider it as a workbook that is an interface inside this workbook i can create a number of sheets here so these sheets are all called as interfaces okay each and every sheet we can call it as interface right we can call it as interface inside this particular sheet we can represent or we can store our data with the help of row and column so for example this first row and first column if i entered any uh, test data means we can call it as a cell means row and column combination we can call it as a cell data okay we can call it as a cell so whatever the data you are entering using of first row and first column we can call it as a cell 
okay so now let me go back to our explanation where i have discussed about sheet as well that sheet we can call it as an interface okay after the sheets what we have okay inside the sheet we have rows and columns right first row till n number of rows how many rows you are going to enter okay so all these rows okay all these rows also again divided into two types if you are working with the latest dot xlsx file we can call it as xssf row if you are working with below version that is from 2009 or 2003 so in that way i mean in that time we can call this particular row as hssf row that is horrible spreadsheet row okay so inside this row and with the help of the first column, I am going to create one test data here. So, where we mention our test data that we can call it as cell. Okay. So, again, this cell again is classified into two types that is for HSSF cell that is horrible spreadsheet format cell and XSSF cell that is extensible spreadsheet format cell. Okay. So, let me go to our paint okay sheet interface and then followed by inside our sheet we have row right we have row as well so inside this sheet only we have two more that is hssf and xssf right hssf sheet and xssf sheet why it's not responding okay if you have any queries Feel free to ask me from the live chat, guys. Hi, Prakash. Prakash, welcome to our channel. Thank you so much for visiting the channel. Thank you so much. Okay, so here. So, this is about sheet. So, again, inside our sheet interface also, we have two types of sheets. The first one is HSSF sheet. Okay, the first one here is HSSF sheet. And what is our next one? that is xssf sheet okay that is xssf sheet right so we have inside our excel workbook we have sheets as well okay inside this sheet we have row okay inside this sheet we have rows here so the rows also divided into two types based upon the hssf and xssf okay so here i can mention for hssf sheet i can take one row here okay i can take here one row the sheet we can have row right that is row okay that is row okay inside this row we have two types again that is hssf row and xssf row okay that is again divided into two types the first one here is hssf okay after that we have xssf as well xsf row right there are two types again after this as we discussed if i store some test data here with the combination of row and column we are calling it as a cell right so let me create one cell here okay again that cell is divided into two types again that is hssf cell and xssf cell right that is for cell okay that is for cell right again this cell is divided into two types again that is hssf and one more is xssf okay so this is about the apache pi concept before going to automate the excel documents using of apache pi that is hssf cell okay and xssf cell these are the two different types of cells we have okay these are the two different types of cells we have okay please let me know guys please let me know if you have any queries please feel free to ask me from the live chat please feel free to ask me from the live chat guys please feel free to ask me from the live chat okay so this is about the xlsx document so now i want to add this apache pi into my eclipse so how we can add just let open okay first you can open maven repository if you are using non maven project you can directly add these jar files into your okay this jar files into your local machine okay this jar files into your local machine right 
okay you can add directly these jar files into your local machine okay so once if you open okay once if you open uh, that particular maven repository you can see here okay you can see here we can able to okay we can able to search for any okay F search for any dependency for example if i want to search for uh, something called uh, which one apache pi apache pi if i search no result right so let me search for this one apache pi common saivo okay apache pi common saivo and apache pi common slang and apache pi common logging so based upon the requirement we can add all these jar files or else you can directly download it from google itself okay so but i am showing it for maven repository project right i mean maven project right so that's where i have added okay that is where i have added the dependency that is called as apache pi okay if you open this one common saivo okay if you can open that one common saivo you can see there are different versions which are available currently for the apache pi okay so in that way we can download okay in that way we can download the required dependency tag file for apache pi okay okay so we can search and we can add the dependency tag file into your this one so now uh, let me go to our eclipse okay here i have already added a dependency tag that is called as org.apache.py that is poi ovo xml if you want to add it as external jar you can directly search for apache pi to download okay so let me show you that one as well okay so where you will get some uh, zip file okay so here we are using maven project so that's why i'm not using that zip file because i am uh, adding it as dependency file inside my maven project if you are working with non maven project you need to download it from google and we have to uh, compress or you have to extract that zip zip file to get all the jar files related to apache pi and you can add into your project okay so i have added already here so now first we will start with our first program so before that let me save this uh, particular document okay so the document whatever i have opened here first let me store into some location so that we can discuss a bit more about this apache pi concept in a good way right so let me open this one okay for that let me first create a project i mean let me create one class here new class Okay, or else I can take it from here only because we are using a uh, form.xml file, right? No, here only I can create. Okay, let me create one class here, new class, saying that automate Excel files. Okay, automate Excel files. I am not taking any public static void main method because we are executing with the help of which one with the help of test ng so that's why i'm not taking this one okay so that's why i'm not taking that one okay that's why i'm not taking that public static void main method okay please let me know from the live chat guys if you have any doubts so far please let me know from the live chat we can discuss each other okay i have created a class here that is called as automate excel files okay automate excel files so before that okay before that first we will see what are the different okay what are the different classes we are going to use while i mean when we are automating the excel documents in that the first class here is file input stream 
okay what exactly the file input stream class and also what exactly the file output stream class i will explain you when we are going to writing our first script inside this uh, apache py concept what exactly this file input stream will do and we will discuss about all those things here okay so if you are new to our channel please please support the channel guys and please okay so here first let me create one program here so that is okay first let me create a program okay so now what i am going to do now i am going to add okay i am going to add one excel doc i mean one sheet into our excel document okay i am going to add one sheet into our xlsx workbook okay i am going to add one hour uh, excel workbook i am going to add one sheet into our xlsx file that is this file so currently we we have only uh, six sheets here okay we have six sheets here so first let me delete all these sheets okay right yeah currently we have only one sheet in this particular document so let me save okay let me save it inside my okay it inside my d drive for example okay here i am telling selenium selenium excel file okay excel document okay selenium excel file document and it is located inside my d drive right it got saved now okay so you can see here selenium excel document is got saved here now i am going to add one sheet with the name of for example selenium tech automation okay i am going to create a sheet here with the help of one program i am going to write a program to create okay to create a sheet in xlsx workbook okay that is what is the name of the sheet that is automation for example automation is the sheet name automation is my sheet name okay automation is my sheet name right automation is my sheet name the first program here is this one so the first thing here is the class that is called as file input stream what exactly this file input stream means it is used for reading the data present in a file okay file input stream is used to reading the data present in a okay present in a file to some java memory this file input stream is a class and which is used to read the test data present in the excel file and giving it to some java memory that is about what exactly the file input stream means okay in your interviews if interviewer will ask you about what exactly the file input stream means you can tell him file input stream is used for reading the data present in a file to a java memory right whereas if he asked about file output stream means it is used for performing the right operations in a given file right file output stream first of all it is a class and this file output stream is used for performing write operations in a given file okay so now uh, let me go to here and let me create one method that is uh, for example public void uh, sheet name right public void sheet name we are mentioning here okay so i am going to create a sheet here public void create sheet okay public void create sheet is my method name so i need to surround with at the rate test annotation because we are working or we are executing with the help of test ng only so that's why i'm adding here test ng annotations okay once it is done let me okay once it is done let me create a class that is called as file input stream so with the help of file input stream we can read the test data present in the excel file and assigning it to java memory right yeah 
so that is why I am using here file input stream that equals to new file okay new file input so here you can see we have different uh, classes with different parameters so here I am taking file input stream of parameter file because I need to define where exactly my dot xlx file got located so that's why i'm taking this particular class so where i can able to define my okay where i can able to define my file name that is selenium excel document right selenium excel document the file name here is selenium excel document dot xlsx file it is my file path where exactly my file got located okay so now add some throws declaration file not found exception it will give you if that file is not present in the mentioned location okay so now as we discussed here you can see the hierarchy so first our step is starting from the workbook right so this we can call it as a workbook the whole document you can call it as a workbook so that's why i am defining here the first step as workbook okay so here you can see workbook is an interface right workbook is an interface and also we have already discussed about that one here workbook is an interface okay workbook new so as we discussed so far we have xssf workbook as well in the same way we have hssf workbook as well so i am taking here xssf workbook okay here we can see xssf workbook okay and i am taking here xssf workbook of file because it is the xlsx file where i am uh, going to add a sheet into this particular workbook so that's why we need to take it as a file here the parameter okay it, what it will it will create some object for the given file so that's why i am taking here workbook with the parameter of file name that is what is the object reference here fis right that is object reference here is fis so once that is done okay once that is done you can declare some throws declaration as well okay so now we finished with our first step that is workbook interface that workbook interface is located in this particular file input stream location right so that's why i have passed the parameter or object as the file name that is fis so once that is done i am going to add a sheet for this particular workbook file right so that's the reason why i am using one method here that is called as wb dot create okay the help of object reference of workbook i am creating sheet with the help of create sheet method so here i can define okay here i can define what exactly our sheet name that is automation for example okay automation is my sheet name right automation is my sheet name okay here we are creating an object for the file input stream class with the help of this object reference okay with the help of this object reference we are defining the file object here and then with the help of this workbook reference and we are creating the sheet with the help of create sheet method by passing the sheet name right by passing the sheet name once this step got completed okay once this step got completed i am going to what i am going to use one class that is called as file output stream as well okay i am going to write one class that is called as file output stream so what exactly this file output stream will do it will i mean it is used for performing the write operations in a file right file output stream okay file output stream f o s equals to new file output stream okay new file output stream of file which one where exactly our file got located i need to define this one as well here okay for uh, during the during write operations we must and should have to close our uh, xlsx file otherwise you will get errors if you don't close your xlsx file okay once that is done with the help of 
there will be object reference variable I am writing into file output stream and then I am closing the connection as well with the help of wb dot close okay wb dot close as well as I am closing the input stream that is file input stream as well once my operation got performed I need to perform all these actions with the help of workbook and also with the help of fos dot close and fos dot close method okay okay now we have done with our first script that will add one sheet with the name of automation inside this particular document okay any questions so far guys please let me know from the live chat Uh, please let me know from the live chat if you have any questions guys so till this point if you have any questions please feel free to ask me from the live chat uh, i this is a sample program where i have defined only file input stream workbook and sheet method and file output stream followed by closing and opening the i mean closing the connections as well as closing our workbooks okay so now uh, let me execute this particular program we will see the output here okay for that how we can add go to your testng.xml file okay that is suit level i can take here okay where exactly my class got located that is automate excel files where exactly that is present that is present here right so test name what we can define automating the automating excel documents automating excel documents as well as what is my class name here my class name here is automate excel files okay so how we can copy the class name by clicking on refactor this refactor will allow you to rename your class okay so now copy this one and paste it here okay and paste it here and now we will see whether that automation sheet is adding or not okay here we can see i have added some listeners as well here with the help of listeners dependent i mean listeners tag i have added listeners concept as well here okay that's why we are getting the details in console output like this on start method that is automating excel documents and on test started create sheet create sheet is, is my method name once that started it got executed and the result here is pass right you don't see any failures here so now let me go to our d drive let me go to our d drive and you can see here there is one uh, excel file document right where is that one selenium huh? yeah this is the file where we have just now created right yeah, let me open this file and we will see okay here you can see it got added here automation if you are able to see or not i don't know but automation sheet got created inside this xlsx workbook okay here you can see so far any questions guys please let me know from the live chat please guys so till that i will stop my screen sharing and i will share only my eclipse here okay so please let me know from the live chat guys please let me know from the live chat so far everything is clear or what please guys i can wait for some time okay please let me know from the live chat if you have any queries please feel free to ask me from the live chat from now uh, till five minutes i will give you the time so that we can discuss about the remaining concepts in coming few minutes okay please guys so for any questions please let me know i have shown you 
how we can create a sheet inside our excel workbook with the help of apache pi concept okay so please let me know from the live chat if you have any questions so far so that we can discuss with each other okay which will really helps me a lot to improve or to uh, make content about the concepts where you are not sure about okay please please feel free to ask me i gave you oh, five minutes of time from now onwards so use that five minutes of time so that you can ask me the questions whatever you have so far okay please utilize this time guys if you can interact with me then then only i can able to explain in a, a brief way if you are not responding or if you are not interacting with me from the live chat means it is uh, i mean it will give my, it will give some negative i am losing my confidence while taking the session if you are not responding with me please try to understand and please respond guys yeah does anyone have any questions please feel free to ask me from the live chat Hi Jaya Jain, thank you so much for visiting the channel. Thank you so much. Uh, currently, I am discussing about how to automate Apache Pi. I mean, Excel documents using of Apache Pi. Thank you so much for visiting the channel. So later in this video session, I mean in this session, we will discuss about how to automate keyboard and mouse operations as well. Thank you so much for visiting the channel. You can ask if you have any questions which are related to job or something else. You can feel free to ask me from the live chat. Thank you so much. I am not able to connect with Eclipse for Selenium. Yeah, hi. Uh, Jaya Jain, uh, I am not able to connect with Eclipse for Selenium. So why you can able to connect with Selenium, right? There was no substitute. I mean, there will be some substitute about Sil Eclipse, but your eclipse must and should it have to support the selenium okay so i am not sure maybe there are some problems on configuring the environment system variables as well as mentioning your uh, selenium jar file if you are working with non maven project if you are working with maven project maybe there is some issue with uh, dependency tag files where you are using it for selenium okay apart from that there won't be any major issues okay the main issue here is if you are working with some lower versions of eclipse okay you need to add the same selenium jar file or dependency tag file inside your eclipse and also if you are net i mean if you are not able to open your eclipse means maybe there is some issue with your jdk as well 
as well as defining your system variables as well as your environment variables okay we need to uh, set it properly so otherwise everything will be working fine only not an issue okay so i hope i have cleared about you on this one please share your contact details so there was uh, nothing much to this i mean to explain you more okay as i mentioned you can follow the same steps okay you can follow the same steps what i have mentioned here okay first check your environment variables or system variables where you can set your jdk path and where in your environment variables you need to set the path till bin folder then you can check for your java version then you can try to open your eclipse and also if you are using maven project means first check the dependency tag file about your selenium version if you are not working with maven project if it if that is a plain project means you can check the jar file what you have added for selenium okay please check on those two cases and including java version as well as your system variables and environment variables okay you will get uh, things to be resolved as soon as possible if you follow these steps yeah anyone have any other questions please uh, feel free to ask me from the live chat so now i am going to uh, discuss about the next program okay okay so this is how we can create a sheet inside our xlsx workbook okay this is how we can create a sheet inside our xlsx document file okay so here you can see i have created one sheet that is called as automation with the help of the code what you are getting from the my screen okay so here i have used one class that is called as file input stream class which is used for reading the data from the xlsx file okay at the same time we have to define where exactly the file got located after that workbook is an interface okay that is xssf workbook extensible spreadsheet format and i am defining my file input stream class object variable here and then i created a sheet that is called as create sheet and if you go to here you can see it got created successfully the sheet name called as automation okay once that is done i am doing some closing the connections and uh, closing the file output streams okay so now the what is our next program here okay what is our next program means so if i want to uh, interact with multiple sheets and also i want to count number of rows in a sheet okay for example so far we have two sheets in this particular xlsx file okay so here you can see okay there are two sheets here so first let me modify this uh, sheet name into some employee sheet name okay employee sheet name and automation sheet name right employee and automation sheet name okay employee and automation sheet names are there so in these two sheets i want to count how many number of rows are present okay i want to count how many number of rows are present in two sheets first employee sheet how many rows are present followed by automation sheet how many number of rows are present okay we will see uh, employee means what are the details we have that is employee id okay employee id and then employee name employee name followed by we have 
one more column that is called as employee address okay employee address details okay so these are the column names so here employee id i can give it here like 1001 for example and employee name is first one i have given as uh, selenium tech okay employee address i can mention here as gurgaon okay sorry it is a string right not required okay so likewise i can count how many number of rows are present inside this particular employee sheet okay so let me do in the same way for automation sheet as well okay we are counting how many number of rows are present on these two sheets okay how we can count we will see it now so let me delete one uh, row here from the second sheet so that we will count how many exactly okay let me add some borders here okay the same way let me add some borders for this one as well okay so now i have added two sheets with two different test data okay now i am going to write a program to count how many number of rows are present in each sheet okay so now let me comment this particular block of code so that we can create one more method to count from both the sheets okay let me comment this one as well okay so now what is our method name that is public void count number of count number of rows number of rows right number of rows in two sheets count number of rows in two sheets this is my method name so i can take the same code here as well okay i can take the same code uh, as well here that is still workbook okay still workbook till workbook i used and declared the throws here add some throws declaration for this one as well okay i have exception that is input output and then okay here i am introducing an interface that is called as sheet interface i have already shown you what exactly the sheet and its hierarchy key okay hierarchy i have already shown so here i am going to use the sheet interface here which is coming from poi sl dot user model it is an inter okay sorry ss user model we need to use here okay ss ss user model okay and for example i am taking it for uh, which one workbook sheet right that is sheet one i can take here okay sheet one equals to so where exactly those sheets got located inside my workbook right so with the help of workbook reference variable i am going to use one method that is called as get sheet you can see we can get the given sheet with the help of index name as well i mean index number as well as we can get the sheet with the help of sheet name as well that is the parameter string okay now i am using here parameter that is called as string okay get sheet of what exactly our sheet name here okay so my first sheet name here is employee right my first sheet name here is employee let me copy and paste so once that is done okay once that is done i am going to my next sheet that is automation right automation is my sheet number two okay so let me do like this sheet two okay sheet two and this is my second sheet name with the help of get sheet method i have defined the name of the sheet here okay once that is done now i am going to count how many number of rows are present if i want to count how many number of rows means we have to take the last row number okay we need to take the last number so for that we have one predefined method inside our apache pi concept that method name is okay that method name is get last row number okay that method name here is get last row number right so for the first sheet i am taking here how many number of rows are present okay so dot get last row number okay 
get last row number and I am printing it in the console. CISO statement of which one? Row count, right? CISO statement of number of number of rows present in employee sheet. Okay, in employee sheet, how many number of rows are present? We can print with the help of row count because get last row number is a integer return type okay return type of get last row number is integer data type right and then so now i am taking the same one here for sheet 2 as well okay i am printing the same thing here int sheet 2 dot okay sheet 2 dot get last row number here uh, row count for second sheet Okay, row count for second sheet, right? So now let me print the same as well here in the console. System dot outward print ln. Which one? Row count for second sheet, right? Row count for second sheet. Okay. So here number of rows are present in automation sheet. Which one? Automation sheet, right? Which one? Automation sheet. Okay. Once that is done, I am going to use dot close okay and then i am going to close the file input stream as well that is fis dot close okay that is fis dot close okay so for example if our workbook is open okay if our workbook is opening programming running or not okay if the program performing only read operation the program will run because for example, if we are perform, I mean, currently we are performing the read operation from these two sheets, right? So during that time, we no need to do anything. Okay, for write operations not working when workbook is in open mode. If we want to write something means, so during that time, your workbook must and should have to be closed. Otherwise, your program is not going to work. But if you are performing some read operations means, then you no need to close your workbook it won't create any problem when you are executing your program okay so now let me execute this and we will see how many rows are present on each sheets we can see okay so now let me go to our suit level dot xml file and let me execute here we will see the output now Okay, here you can see number of rows present in employee sheet is 5. Is that correct? Right? Is that correct? And number of, okay, employee sheet. Okay, so number of rows are present in employee sheet. How many rows are present here? How many rows? Row number, we are starting it from the second row. Okay, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, 0 1 2 3 4 5 so that's why we are getting the total number of rows present in employee sheet as 5 here count we are getting here as 5 okay if you go to automation sheet how many number of rows are present here totally 0 1 2 3 4 totally 4 number of rows are present okay number of rows are present in automation means 4 rows index is starting from 0 and employee also starting from 0 till 6 0 1 2 3 4 that is 0 1 2 3 4 5 okay so this is how we can count how many number of rows are present on multiple sheets okay if i want to count for another sheet you can add one more sheet and you can pass some test data and you can use get last row number for that third sheet and you can print inside our console in the same way okay so this is a program okay this is a program to interact with multiple sheets and also where we can able to count how many number of rows are present in the both the documents right is that clear till now guys please let me know Is that clear uh, till now please let me know from the live chat guys please let me know from the live chat your your interaction will makes me more to explain in detail way please please try to use 
please try to utilize this uh, session okay which will really help you when you are attending for interviews okay as a fresher or as an experienced candidate because there are some chances to get questions from apache pi concept as well so that's why i am telling in a slow mode as well as i am repeating multiple times the same topic or words please try to understand okay if you have any questions feel free to ask me guys i will give you uh, four minutes of time any one of you currently three are watching now if you have any queries please feel free to ask me from the live chat if you have any queries Come on guys, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me from the live chat before going to the next program, okay? Please, please utilize these two or three minutes of time. Yeah, count how to get total number of columns in a sheet. Yeah, here we don't go via uh, sheet uh, uh, Barno Krishna. Thank you so much for visiting the channel. Okay, that's where I have shown you uh, some hierarchy, hierarchy representation of workbook. Okay, hierarchy about workbook as well as hierarchy about sheet that is an interface hierarchy about rows and cell okay so here if you are getting the columns means we need to depend upon the rows number only okay counting number of columns in a row you are asking right it's i mean counting number of columns in a row we are not counting columns in a sheet the question you have asked is uh, not the correct one you can ask it like how to count number of columns in a row that is the correct question okay how to get total number of columns in a sheet but before that it is related to rows only okay we, we have to ask in such a way that how to get number of columns in a row because columns are interlinked with rows row and combination i mean row and column combination we can call it as cell right so that's why i'm telling how to get number of how to count number of columns present in a row that is the correct one sir please tell me where it will use to automate the excel sheet if you are working with some data driven testing where you need to store some test data in the form of excel document okay in that cases we can use at the same time if you are working with keyword driven framework during that time also we can use this apache pi concept to automate the scenarios okay any other questions from anyone before going to the next program guys please let me know thank you so much uh, ban krishna for visiting the channel and also i am requesting you all please go through all our videos where i have discussed each and everything in a clear way in an understandable way okay you can feel i am telling multiple times why i am telling 
multiple times means the concept what I am discussing currently that should be in a understandable way okay understandable way I am discussing that's the reason why I am telling the word multiple times okay please consider what I am telling so I can explain in different way as well but my intention is to make you people understand about these Apache Pi concept or any concepts where I have covered inside our channel okay so, yeah now we can see how to count number of columns in a row okay as uh, discussed I mean as uh, Bhanu Krishna asked one question here so I am going to show you that one now how to count number of columns present in a row okay how to count number of columns present in a row okay we need to get the columns present in every row not sheet wise okay not at sheet level we need to take it at row level only okay so here for example okay here for example in this employee i can add one more uh, one more column i can add here so let me add it uh, one more okay i can mention here as uh, location okay i can mention here as location india okay location india i can mention here okay, location is india right so now I am going to count how many number of columns are present inside this particular sheet okay in this employee sheet I am going to count how many number of columns with the help of rows okay because row and column combinedly together we can call it as a cell so that's why all the time we need to traverse via row only if you want to count columns okay Okay, not I am not sharing my screen. Yeah. Okay, here I have opened, I have added one column here that is location India. Okay, location is India. I have added just now one more column that is location India. So now I am going to count how many number of columns present here in each and every row. Okay, for example. Okay, for example for this particular uh, first row only you can take okay first row only you can take means columns are always belonging to a particular row columns are always belongs to a particular row so now I want to count how many number of columns present inside this uh, particular row for example row number 0 I am going to count so how we can count we will see okay so let me take till from here the same employee and go to and uh, create one more method at the rate test annotation okay this is for which one this method is for interact okay interact with multiple sheets and count how many number of rows right how many number of rows and then this method is for let me keep from here till here in comments so that we can go to the next method here so why it is giving error here at the rate test at the rate test so what happened why oh, okay I forget to close one thing here why oh why why error oh okay because of this one okay so now i am going to count uh, number of columns present in uh, any one of the row okay so how we can count means sheet sheet one equals to w e dot get sheet of employee so here row okay row is an interface and r equals to okay now r equals to sheet one dot okay sheet one dot 
रो आर इक्वल्स टू वाई शीट वन ओके शीट वन डॉट गेट गेट विच वन रो राइट रो ऑफ जीरो आई कैन टेक हियर गेट रो ऑफ जीरो देन इंट कॉलम ओके इंट कॉलम काउंट हाउ मेनी कॉलम्स आर देयर इन दैट पर्टिकुलर रो फॉर एग्जांपल जीरो थ्रो राइट आई एम टेकिंग द वेरिएबल ऑफ रो डॉट गेट लास्ट सेल नंबर इज देर ए मेथड ओके गेट लास्ट रो नंबर इज ए मेथड हियर ओके बिकॉज कॉलम्स आर बिलोंग्स टू ए पर्टिकुलर रो ओके कॉलम्स आर बिलोंग्स टू ए पर्टिकुलर रो सो दैट्स वाई आई यूज हियर आर रेफरेंस वेरिएबल फॉर रो With the help of R dot, with the help of this particular row, the mentioned row, I am going to get the how many number of columns are present, right? This is so statement of what is our line here? Number of columns present, right? Number of columns are present. Number of columns present in in mentioned row, in mentioned row. How many number of columns are present? so that is concatenation of column count so here column count is an integer data type it will return you the integer right so now let me dot close okay that is fine now let me execute our suit level you will see okay so it started executing and number of columns present in mentioned row you can see here four rows are available go to your excel document and check 1 2 3 4 4 columns are present all right four columns are present here okay four columns are present here okay that is how we can count how many number of columns present in a mentioned row okay any questions guys on this one any questions for anyone please let me know from the live chat please let me know from the live chat we can discuss more about this concept in coming few minutes please let me know guys if you have any queries or questions or doubts or related to interview or anything you can feel free to ask me and also you can ping me in any one of our video under comment section so that i can reply at the same time okay our intention is to make you all people very well and very good in automation testing okay so since from last one week i did not even upload one video i have uploaded one or two videos but usually i will take live sessions on weekends but today i got some time to interact with you and to make this session about automating keyboard and mouse operations as well as automating excel documents means reading and writing yeah any other questions guys uh, before going to the next concept or next program okay now i am going to reading the data from excel okay now i am going to read the data present in the excel document okay now i am going to read the data present inside our excel document okay now i am going to read the data present inside our excel document please let me know from the live chat guys if you have any queries we can discuss more here okay i am going to read the entire data present in our excel document how we can read we will see
Oke. Okay. Oke okay, guys. Please confirm me guys. Please interact with me. Oke, okay, now open our Excel document. Oke, okay. so here I am going to uh, read that data present inside our employee sheet. Oke, okay, now I am going to read the entire data present inside our employee sheet. So how we can read that one? We will see it now. So simple, go to your actual class. Okay, go to your actual class and uh, comment the existing method where we discussed about count okay count number of columns present in a row okay in the same way I am going to read the test data present inside a sheet the sheet name called as employee sheet right so let me take public void public void read right public void read public void read data okay public void read data right this is my method name okay this is my method name so how that is till here the same lines okay not an issue please before attending for any interviews please remember these two lines at least okay about file input stream and what exactly the workbook and what exactly the accesses of workbook okay so that at least we can try to tell him so this is called as file input stream and for this is the reason why i am using this one and this is the uh, workbook and this is the reason why i am using this workbook inside our scripts okay we can explain him in this way okay once it is done okay once it is done i am going to get the sheet the name called as employee right inside our employee sheet only i'm going to read the data present right so now okay so now i am going to okay now i am going to count how many number of rows are present inside this uh, employee sheet okay so for that how we can write int row count int row count equals to With the help of which reference variable with the help of sheet reference variable because inside this sheet only our rows are got located right that is get last row number right get last row number so now i stored how many rows are available into row count integer variable okay so now i want to read the data present right so now i want to read so that's why I am using here one for loop okay that is for okay for int i equals to okay int i equals to one I can mention because I don't want to count this line I mean first row employee ID I don't want but I can count it from second row that is one double zero one okay so i equals to one i less than or equals to okay i less than or equals to row count followed by i plus plus because once if i fetch the data from here again i need to go to the second row right so that's why i'm incrementing by one here that is i plus plus okay i plus plus so here the help of row okay creating this one get that is uh, sheet one right inside our sheet we have right inside our sheet we have that one so that is sheet one dot get row inside our sheet we have rows right get row of i okay for the first time the i value is one so what this will do it will go to this sheet employee sheet and it will take the first row get row of one what exactly the row number one and it will store into row or variable okay and then i am going to read the data so as we discussed so far if i mention anything inside this row and column combination means we can call it as a cell right so where we represented this 1001 it is a combination of row and column we can call it as a cell so that's why i am writing one line here that is cell okay that is cell k 
take a cell uh, I can take here as cell 1 ok cell 1 equals to with the help of row ok what is our row I am going to first row right or dot get cell of ok get cell of 0th cell I am taking ok 0th cell ok in the same way I am going to take for the second one as well that is cell 2. So, these are the basic programs uh, what I am discussing currently and if you go to our excel document we have two cells I mean two columns here 0 and 1. So, it will keep on uh, iterating till the last row and it will start from first row that is int i equals to 1. So, once this i value becomes 7 means 7 is less than something value what we are getting here ok. 7 is less than 7 condition false right. So, it will come outside and now I am going to write like string ok string employee id ok employee id ok string employee id equals to string employee id equals to cell 1 right cell 1 dot capital O right cell 1 dot get cell get string cell value I guess right get string cell value yeah because all these are all strings if you can see this one also I mentioned it as string before that I used one single quote so that it will treat it as string cell value ok get string cell value once that is done the second one what is our next column here employee name right so employee name string 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 employee name equals to which one cell to dot get string cell value ok get string cell value and then I am printing here using of CISO statement ok using of CISO statement of ok that is employee id ok employee id oh sorry yeah I need to define it outside right yeah employee id right this is our column name right employee id whatever the data we have we are getting that one employee id ok employee id the same one employee id can get net ok I am using some spaces here ok and then I am using employee name as well employee name ok so then once it is completed I am going to what I am going to do workbook dot close then fis dot close ok so now this program is for reading the data present ok reading the data present so now let me execute and we will see whether it is printing all this information or not in the console part what happened ok at the red test we are missing here right at the red test annotation we have missed out so that's why it is not executed ok let me try it one more time and we will see the output now Okay, here we can see okay, 1001 selenium tech likewise we have how many total 3 and 5 right 3 and 5 means first row is starting from which one first row is starting from i equals to 1 so once it completed it will go to the second row that is third row here third row because index value will always starts from 0 right 0 and 1 I have defined here 1 so if you want you can mention here uh, that 0 as well if you want you can mention it here as 0 and we will see the output now I equals to 0 ok so this time it will print along with the row header names as well
okay here we can see that okay here we can see that it is printing employee id and employee name as well right so this is how we can print our test data means reading the entire data present inside this uh, employee sheet okay so any other questions guys if you have any other questions please feel free to ask me from the live chat guys yeah any other questions if you have please uh, do let me know from the live chat please guys so uh, what i will do i will take one more session after uh, six o'clock okay so we will see a uh, few more programs in the next session today only okay so please be available at uh, 6 30 pm okay we will discuss uh, remaining programs from automating the excel documents and also we can discuss about automating keyboard and mouse operations as well okay so please uh, please try to understand and please uh, feel free to ask me from the live chat if you have any questions to be asked you can ask me now okay we will uh, stop this session here okay in this point we can uh, stop this session but uh, we can connect one more time okay later today we can connect one more time at around 6 30 pm okay we will continue with the remaining programs what are the basic programs we have where we can uh, automate the excel documents and then we can discuss about automating keyboard and mouse operations as well because this automating apache poi i uh, mean automating excel documents will take much time to explain okay so that's why i am taking it as a priority uh, concept so once it is completed then there won't be uh, i mean uh, automating keyboard and mouse operations it won't take much time to explain so please try to understand and please if you have any questions so far you can ask me from the live chat guys you can ask me from the live chat if you have any questions we can uh, discuss at least for two to three minutes okay so please please let me know from the live chat now the time is yours please utilize the time from now onwards till 4 39 pm okay please please guys Okay, please, uh, please raise your questions. Yeah, you can ask uh, questions now guys if you have any other questions please feel free to ask me so that we can discuss more about the questions what we have and also we can connect at 6 30 or 6 40 pm as well not an issue before that if you have any questions you can please feel free to ask me from the live chat guys please okay so i hope no one have any questions now i'm going to end the session now okay yeah uh, hi banu krishna thank you so much for asking the question uh, so far think my yeah my volume is coming right yeah thank you so much for asking the question banu krishna i think you are new to our channel as per my knowledge but i have made uh, several videos where i discussed about uh, the experts as well as to automate some basic web application that is orange hrm application so how we can automate or how we can write our first scripts for few scenarios and also i have discussed about framework as well test ng as well as page object model data driven testing keyboard driven testing and also i discussed about auto it and sql 
okay so please uh, please go through our videos if you find any one of the video which is helping you okay means you can subscribe to my channel i am not asking anything apart from that okay so please uh, go through all the videos where i have discussed in a very clear way okay but my intention is uh, to make you all the people uh, must and should be aware about some automation testing at least the basics okay so that's all it from now banu krishna if you have any questions furtherly we can connect at 6:30 or 7 pm in the evening today we can discuss more about over there okay any other questions can i expect from anyone uh, please let me know guys yeah sure sure bana krishna no problem if you go to our videos you can definitely get some good knowledge about the automation testing okay uh, i can uh, give you some uh, trust about that one okay please go through all the videos so that you can learn the basics of selenium and some advanced level concepts will be also available and please go through the playlists where, where i have mentioned okay so please try to utilize all those things you will be you will become very good at automation testing as well not an issue if you have any doubts or concerns you can feel free to ping your doubt in the comment section the video what we have watched okay so that is one request from my side okay thank you so much banu krishna we can uh, end the session for now and we will connect at 6:30 pm today after 2 hours okay thank you so much guys please be available so where i am discussing the continuation part of automating excel operations in selenium as well as i am going to discuss about how to automate keyboard and mouse operations in selenium automation testing tool okay that's all it for now guys i hope you people found at least 2 or 3 percent help from my side we will connect today evening at 6:30 or before 7 pm okay thank you so much guys for your love and support we will connect over there after 2 hours thank you so much have a nice day